Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of AEW Weekly Wrap Up. I'm your host, Ethan Black. <clears throat> Today, we're going to talk about the AEW Rampage Clutch shows from last week. Also, talk about Grand Slam Night One and also preview upcoming shows. And then we'll do the Ring of Honor stuff. So, we'll just jump right into it. So, we'll start with last week's Rampage. So, we kick it off with eight man tag to match with the Hardys, Matt, and Jeff. Team with the Lucha Brothers, Pentagon, Jira, Ray Finks, Defeat the Butcher and the Blade, Jay Lethal, Jeff Jarrett. Nine minutes and 31 seconds. Attack the match of the kingdom, Matt Damon, Mike Bennett. Up the kingdom, Chris Rodriguez, Matt, out eight minutes, 14 seconds. Non title match, we had the Trios Champions, the Acclaim, Anthony Bones, Mass Caster, Oma Billy Gunn, defeat the Outrunners, Truth Magnum to avoid Team of Peter Everyone, two minutes and 43 seconds. In tag to match, Ozzy Open, Call Fletcher, Mark Davis, defeat Damian Champions, and Laura Crew in 43 seconds. In the main for the TBS title, <coughs> Chris Statlander, retained over Jake Cargo, 10 minutes and 7 seconds. On that show, I would just say watch the main event, honestly. And then we go to episode 14 of AEW Collision from Saturday to September 16th. So before the, they did three dark matches, they were EJ, Nick Duke got defeating Dion Rosman, Powerhouse House with Victor Benjamin, and tag to match in the guns, Austin and Cohen defeating the Outriders, Truth Man and Turbo Floyd. So the actual show starts off with Big Bill and Ricky Stars getting the win over Blackpool Comic-Con's Brian Dales and Ring of World Champion Claudio Castanelli, 16 minutes and 36 seconds. For the AW World Tag Team titles, FTR, Cashwell, Dax Hort retains for the R Savages, Boulder, and Bronson, 3 minutes and 23 seconds. <clears throat> John Silver to be in Trio Shape, Anthony Bones, 9 minutes and 17 seconds. Ozzy All been to be Pretty Boys Move in West Barkley in 46 seconds. Andrade Al Idolo defeating Scorpio Sky by submission at 9 minutes 16 seconds. The Righteous Dutch and Vincent Devine, the Hardy's Man, Jeff submits in 32 seconds. And the main event for the second night in a row, Chris, Chris Statlander retains the TBS title over Brett Baker, 12 minutes and one second. So, on this show, I would just watch the, the Black Will Come Up for Starks and Big Build match. Andre Alito for Scorpio Sky and the mate. That's the only three I recommend checking out from that show. Now we head over to Grand Slam Night 1. And we kick it off with a uh, title first title match. Eddie Kingston, who is the New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong Openweight Champion, defeating the Ring of World Champion, Claudio Castanoli, 15 minutes and 17 seconds via Powerbomb. This was a really great opening match to kick off Night 1 at Grand Slam. Eddie Body finished story being Claudio. <clears throat> I like the um, low tributes to Misawa and Koala. Koala, there we go. Kingston had the Koala gear, while Claudio had the um, Mis- Misawa gear. But I, I really, I just won uh, nine out of ten. I thought Claudio had to be a couple times at the Ricola bomb. I like how it took Kingston three, like Jurgens, Norlight's bomb, and a power bomb. Well, technically four Jurgens and a Nor, but I mean they were just throwing each other big moves at them. I remember there was a nice spot earlier in the match where Claudio back by back suplex. Sorry, Kingston on the ramp that looked. Nasty, but I thought it was a really fun match. I recommend checking that one out. And then after the match, they shake hands. And then we go to the house from last foot from last week where the kingdom was helping Rod Strong. He was reading uh words of a cursor off a card that we hear Adam's voice that wakes up Roger Strong. And then Kingdom had to leave because it's a grand slam. And then Cole said Strong was doing okay, but he also had to go for Strong. Then he told him to just freaking go. I I thought this thing was pretty good, honestly. Anyway, and we go backstage. Renee Pugets with TNT, Jay Blue George, and Christian Cage. And then they said he's four from Dari and wants to move, move away from him. So he declared to face him and Luke George. He said Haney, but he met Triple Threat for the TNT title. But if he wants a shot, Sting can't be at ringside. Then he tells him to bring the boy. I thought it was a good thing. And I'll talk about the full upcoming shows after this review. Then we go to our second match of the show. Chris Jericho gives one over Simi Kavar 15 minutes and 14 seconds via Code Breaker. I thought this was a really uh, excellent match. I just won 7 out of 10. I like how Guevara came out in Jericho's gear the rest of me at 19. And by the way, it's not the first time we... <clears throat> on a show, we saw lots of Shawn Michaels spots or this rest of me at 19 spot, but uh, Guevara in Spanish left for a two count. Jericho comes about two back-to-back layers of his own, and then Guevara hit his own co-breaker. The only complaint I had was the... Um, or I think Guevara was jumping back and around Jericho with a draw kick, like I didn't really that didn't even touch him that much, but I saw him overall. Besides that, I actually really enjoyed it. But I did like the little tribute to Jericho at WrestleMania 19, and then the other WrestleMania 19 spot was where they hugged and then Guevara kicking Jericho in the below the belt, and it was Jericho was hanging on the 
paying, paying tribute to like the Shawn Michaels Jericho spot versus May 19. And then Don Cass comes in the ring. Then it lies on Sammy Guevara. But yeah, so we basically got to tease that Guevara is joining Don Cow's family. But I thought it was brilliant. But we'll see more of them after. Do we see better new baby Robin at the stadium? As MJF said, he's basically going to choke uh, Small Joe out of his fellow people. And then all he's going to, last thing he's going to hear is MJF champ. And then Cole got an emergency call from Roderick. I don't know why I laughed. He's basically, you're not going to die, dude. I got to laugh out of that. But the Maven was pretty fun. Then we go backstage right forget Travis Guevara, you know, so Don Cow's family. But Don said it would reveal on Rampage, and then Garcia gets in his face as Guevara wanted to fight him, but he told him that he kid was money. There are first of three title ma- Well, technically, this, we have five titles on the line because two of them are defending one match. Sorry, technically third match of the show for the international title. Ray Phoenix defeating John Moxley. That meant 37 seconds via Phoenix Driver. I mean, there's... I'm not going to rate it I'm only rating the match before the injury spot, so I just won 6 out of 10. But Moxley, I hope he's okay. Apparently there's reports that he walked back stage by himself, so that's a good sign. And there's pictures falling on social media about Tony Khan being outside his trailer. I mean, I don't think it was the Phoenix Drivers, but it was the um, where he dive off the ramp. But honestly, Rick Knox should have just count. When he hit the Phoenix Driver the first time, he should have just count. Just basically do a shoot count, not make him do the second one. But, but I'm glad Congratulations, Phoenix, by the way, becoming the second ever Triple Crown winner behind Kenny Omega because he won the Trios 12 International and the uh, World Tag Title. That was the, I forgot for a second what it was, but uh, so I'm just rating a 6 out of 10, but I'm not top of that was before the injury spots, so then we get a problem from Joe backstage. It's a night consequence. MJ's been running his mouth, but he's going to take away his 8 of World Title. And then we get a field package of the Ring of World Title on Terrorsville 4 match on Rampage. The Hardys, Righteous King of Best Friends. And then we go to semi main for the women's title. Soray retains over Tony Storm. Eight and a half minutes by Nightcaps up the rope. I actually thought, I actually liked this match a lot more than I thought it was going to be, but I liked St- Tony Storm's entrance. But I thought, it was, I thought when Storm hit the Storm here after kissing her, basically played a wet one and hit her Storm here. I actually thought that was going to be, but it wasn't. But it, it was a I actually like this match a lot more than I thought it was going to be, but it was an overall fun women's title match. And surprising, no, no surprises this year for Grand Slam. But it's right retained. And then we're going to make an AW World Championship on the line. MJF retains over Samojo 18 minutes and 40 seconds via referee stoppage, I guess, because where he had choke him with his tape, uh, wrist tape around his uh, neck of Joe. I really enjoyed it. Like, I just won 7 out of 10. I hope uh, Adam Cole's not too... When he jumped off the ramp, it looked like he rolled his angle or something, but I guess there's reports on social media. I do apologize. I can't remember who reported it. That, um, that he was going to the hospital to get his foot like though. But some of these spots made like the Paul Driver on the floor, MJF in a Liger bomb, and then he tried to hit him with the Diamond Diver, but Paul Turner uh, catches him with the... And then Joe putting MJF for the table with a Niranagi on the outside. MJF doing the kangaroo kick. Overall, I thought it was a really fun match. I just won 7 out of 10. Then, like, after the match, MJF distracts Paul Turner. And we'll call Heist up. We're trying to remember from last time where Pete beat Punk with it, but Pete got caught. So Joe shakes and MJF shakes and they sell over to close up the show. Overall, I should not have bad. I should really enjoyed this week's episode of Dynamite. Honestly, if I had to pick. Two matches. I said just check the opening match and the main. Sorry, this match, Jericho and Gavar and the Ada Wolf. That's the only three I recommend checking out. But overall score for the show, I give this one seven out of ten. So Grand Slam night two tonight. This is a two hour edition of Rampage. Remember that everybody. So the seven matches we have are Mike Santiago for Boulder, six person tag match with TBS champion Chris Dow, FTW Jamie Hook and Orange Cassidy first Anna J Mavin on Angel Parker, TNT champion Luke Shores and Christian Cage first Darby on Sting tag team action. For the trios titles, D claim and Billy Gunn of his dark order. Julia Hart goes one with Sky Blue. Like I said, the Fatal Four, you know, we'll get their tag team title match. The Hardys, Righteous Kingdom, and Best Friends. Winner goes to Russell Dream, Face Better, Baby. And the Ring War Six Man Tag Titles. I think on commentary, I think Excalibur said this is the main event of Green Slam Night 2. I could be wrong. I'd probably miss her, but I wouldn't be surprised. Brian Cage, Toilet, and Con on Mogul Embassy. Defense of Humbucks, Hangman, Adam Page, and the Young Bucks. Now, tomorrow night's collision. Ricky starts with Brian Dales in Texas Death Match. FTR defends the Edge of Tiles against the Workhorse with Jake and Anthony Henry. RBD first to be determined. 
J-Web for Sandra L. Idolo, and Blue Shorts with the TT Dog. <coughs> Chris Gaines, Darby Ellum. Next week, Dwayne said, Matt, the only thing they announced for next week, though, was a contract between Swords Struggle and Heyman Page. It wrestled Jim on top of Swords Struggle for Heyman Page. Brian Yosef for Zack Sabre Jr. FTR, if they retain the world title, will defend Ozzy Open. And this is a spoiler, so if you don't want to hear, just skip five seconds. Better New Bay will defend the Ring of World titles against the Righteous. So that's five, four or five matches announced, but the AEW stuff. And now we'll go over to the 30th episode of Ring of Honor. So we had opening match here. Kachiri Shabal retains the pure toe of Nick Wayne, 9 minutes, 17 seconds. D. Monty defeating Caddy Bright, a minute 54. In the Battle of the Lees, Lee Moyar defeating Lee Johnson, minutes and 19 seconds. Mercedes Martinez defeating Trish Door, 4 minutes, 43 seconds. For the women's cell, Athena retained over to Angel Love, 5 minutes, 21 seconds. Six women tag team match with Sky Blue, Will Nigel Care Home defeating the Renegades, and Leia Hirsch, 7 minutes and 4 seconds. Ethan Page defeating VSK. Six man tag team match with El Hijo defeating King of Gravity, Metalik defeating Spanish and Elish Project, that's in Helgo San Pentago, and Tony Nese, 8 minutes and 31 seconds. Tag team match with Action Dry, Dares, Martin, and Cole Carr, and Griff Garrison, 4 minutes and 54 seconds. And the main for the six man tag titles, Mogul Embassy retains over the effect, Kyle Brown, Sean Dean, and Willie Mack, 9 minutes and 27 seconds. On this show, I say check out the pure title match, the Battle of the Lees, and the six man tag. That's the only three I'm going to check out from this 10 match show. But that is the show for this week, guys. I'm your host, Ethan Black. I'll be back next week with the usual AEW Ring of Honor stuff. Have a good weekend and stay safe. Thanks for listening to the WWE Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe on your favorite podcast app so you don't miss a show. Or head to WWEPodcast.com. And for all of these shows ad-free, head over to Patreon.com slash WWEPodcast. Until then, we'll see you next time.